I'm Ishak Siddiqui. Uh, I'm the market strategist at ETX Capital. Uh, my job is uh, a coverage of uh, wider equity uh, strategy uh, in focus and also when it comes to other asset classes I look at commodities, bonds uh, and FX uh, and generally a lot of my uh, role involves talking to clients and the press about uh, their positions and how uh, the, the price movements of the market are affecting their positions. Uh, and at the same time, I'm uh, also uh, behind a lot of the uh, content development at ETX Capital when it comes to research and uh, some of our commentary uh, and also our, also our blogs, uh, which go out to our clients and, our, uh, and the press. I'm previously uh, trained as a journalist. I studied journalism um, and uh, after graduation I moved out to Dubai to work as a journalist uh, for a construction magazine uh, covering the construction industry. Uh, while I was in Dubai I got in talks with the guys at the Wall Street Journal uh, and uh, moved over to cover the Middle Eastern region, uh, particularly the focus on the finance and banking industry um, and Islamic finance and then uh, moved over to London uh, to work as a market reporter covering European equities with a focus on uh, UK equity markets um, and at my time at, at the Wall Street Journal I managed to make a, a few friends in the industry uh, and that being some friends at ETX Capital I got talking to them and um, uh, they believed that my um, uh, background in terms of uh, being positioned to speak to the media uh, and development of content uh, including uh, my insight in the markets uh, would be a good fit for their strategy going forward in order to um, best um, position themselves in the market as a company that can provide value to our clients and to uh, uh, the press and journalists. Um, so I work uh, very early hours uh, from from seven normally to uh, around about six p.m. every day, and my uh, week involves mostly um, developing our content, so writing uh, analysis, snap analysis of uh, economic uh, data, which has just come out, corporate news, talking about what's going on with companies, particularly uh, the focus on uh, the UK. But at the same time, if our clients uh, want to know more about our views on uh, companies uh, in Europe or where they trade domestic uh, the domestic equities, then we're happy to discuss those. Um, so a big bulk of that is, 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 is my day speaking to not only clients but the press as well uh, about what's going on and writing out uh, snap analysis and that could be a, a range of, we have a fixture of three market comments uh, per day and at the same time uh, we'll do ad hoc uh, comments based upon what's going on in the market. A lot of it is dependent on uh, what's going on in the market on a day-to-day -day basis. At the same time I'll, I'll, I speak to uh, broadcast news media um, by um, discuss, yeah. I mean, look, a lot of it's based upon what's going on in the market and in, in, in the world right now. At the moment right now, there, there is a lot of volatility that we are seeing, a lot of reluctance by a lot of people uh, to uh, build positions given the fact that we have uh, a number of, uh, of issues in the world, uh, particularly when it comes to um, the end of quantitative easing by the Federal Reserve. Uh, and that's pushed a lot of uh, the traders from, 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 from investing at the moment. Um, but we think that uh, in uh, overall in the year, we've had a a strong pickup in, in volumes, particularly in the first quarter um, and also in the second quarter. There's been other, uh, when it comes to a, a broad range of uh, markets that we, we provide our clients, FX has seen a considerable amount of demand and that's where we see most of the, uh, the, 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 the volatility uh, and the quick changes uh, in the market. Um, it's been a bit more stagnant when it comes to equities and indices. Uh, and going into the end of the year, overall it's been a pretty strong year. Um, with volatility it's expected, um, it can push some clients to refrain from uh, trading. At the same time, there are some clients out there who feel that they can make a lot of money out of that and uh, do uh, take that as an opportunity to, to, to get some profit.